of pre-processed data and what is the data quality. So data quality, uh, the, the data will be of good quality when uh, gives us a good results, right? And uh, generally, uh, to ha there are some majors to uh, uh, to look at the data quality, and those majors are accuracy, completeness, consistency timeliness, uh, then uh, believability and the interpretability, correct? Uh, and that's the reason uh, to achieve all this quality in a given data to lead to a successful research outcomes. We do the pre-processing of a data. So there are different techniques to pre-process the data. There are different uh, tasks to pre-process the data. So those tasks are uh, data cleaning, data integration, data reduction and data transformation and discretization. So we will see one by one. So data cleaning uh, is a routine work like a cleaning of a data. Uh, this cleaning of a data can be done by filling the missing values, smoothing the noisy, noisy data, identifying or removing the outliers and resolving the inconsistencies. So these are uh, the different ways to clean the data. Right? Now, if, uh, uh, if all of us believe the data uh, uh, is dirty, uh, then of course we cannot trust that data. And even the techniques cannot be applied, uh, data mining techniques or data analysis techniques cannot be applied on the, the, that dirty data. And that's the reason uh, we need to clean the data. In fact, sometimes uh, this dirty data can lead to the confusion during our analysis process or a mining process, and uh, which cannot give us a reliable output. And thus we go for the cleaning of the data. Correct. Uh, then we have the uh, data data integration. Now data integration is done so that uh, all data which is available with us will be in a same format. Because generally uh, when we get a data, say uh, abhi ek example, le lo, simple example. Suppose a customer ID, hai, right? Uh, uh, एक बैंक कस्टमर या तीन चार कंपनीज है एक कंपनी कस्टमर आईडी को कस्टमर अंडरस्कोर आईडी करके सेव करती है एक कंपनी कस्टमर आईडी को कस्टमर अंडरस्कोर नंबर करके सेव करती है एंड द थर्ड कंपनी जस्ट सेव द कस्टमर आईडी एज अ आइडेंटिफायर ओनली एज अ आइडेंटिफायर अभी प्रॉब्लम कैसे होता है कि वेन सी दीज ऑल दे डू द सेम टास्क एंड द सेम sort of business these all three companies are doing and at the end as a marketing person what is my task or a sales person my, what is my task is i have to analyze the data of all the three persons or all these three company correct so jab ye data mein saath mein leti hu then i found that the same thing which is getting um, represented with different ways or same thing is getting mapped with the different names jaise customer number hai koi ka bolta hai koi customer id bolta hai koi just identifier bolta hai correct and that is the reason i need a integration of a data so this is one sort of integration of a data and then another is uh, we have the data available in different format and that's the reason we need to integrate that different formats of a data then we have a uh, data reduction डेटा रिडक्शन का मीनिंग है कि सपोज uh, आपके पास uh, बहुत सारा डेटा है राइट right? अभी ये डेटा क्या करना पड़ता है आपको सेव भी करना पड़ता है करेक्ट नो फॉर द सेविंग ऑलवेज देर इज अ कंसर्न ऑफ स्टोरेज आल्सो बिकॉज नॉट ओनली सेविंग इज इंपॉर्टेंट द इंपॉर्टेंस इज द रिट्रीवल ऑफ सेव डेटा करेक्ट एंड इफ यू हैव अज अमाउंट ऑफ अ डेटा विच इज गेटिंग सेव सॉरी इट इज इट इज गोइंग टू गिव अस अ a uh, retrieval problem also and that's the reason uh, we require a data to be reduced correct we either can apply some encoding techniques or we can have a compression of a data uh, so dimensionality reduce karna hai humko just simple example jaise aapke paas date of birth bhi hai aur aapke paas age karke bhi attribute hai now this age wala attribute is a redundant correct because date of birth se aap age nikal sakte ho aaram se so i can reduce that that column right so kaise hota hai ki bahut huge amount of column of huge number of attributes bhi hai they may lead to confusion confusing results again and that's the reason we need to reduce the data also so we have three techniques for reduction of a data that is dimensionality reduction we have numerosity reduction and a data compression we are going to see this all techniques one by one and then we have the data transformation and data discretization transformation to hum sab log ne lab mein bhi dekha ki jahan pe we try to map a data at a one scale that is my data normalization correct or data 
transformation right so here either we can have the data on the uh, on the same scale or the uh, we can generate a hierarchy in a data so th this is all uh, happens in the data transformation and data reduction okay so let's see uh, these all techniques one by one so first task which we will be looking into is data cleaning correct ab data cleaning mein kya kya aata hai hame sabko dekhna hai correct so uh, see as we all know the data in the uh, real world is a dirty data it means that uh, uh, it can be incomplete it will it can be noisy or it can be inconsistent also so data cleaning uh, are some of the functions which attempt to feel these missing values or it may smooth the noise which is uh, identified as a out layer in the data or it can correct the inconsistencies in a data right so these are all data cleaning things right so first part in a uh, data cleaning is uh, see uh, there can be multiple things which cause uh, this inconsistency in a data correct uh, these multiple things are like uh, there can be the fault in the instrument or a human or a computer error means while typing uh, i may do a mistake जैसे कि समटाइम्स आई टाइप अ डेट ऑफ बर्थ इन अ फॉर्मेट ऑफ डी डी एम एम वाई 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 समटाइम्स आई मे टाइप द डेट ऑफ बर्थ इन अ फॉर्मेट ऑफ एम एम डी डी वाई 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 करेक्ट इवन सपोज माई इंस्ट्रूमेंट इज नॉट वर्किंग प्रॉपरली सो विच इज टेकिंग द रीडिंग जैसे कि आप केमिकल uh, लेबोरेटरीज में काम कर रहे हो और समटाइम्स कि क्या होता है दो तीन लैब्स के सेटअप है उसमें कैलिब्रेशन नहीं किया इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स का देन इट मे गिव अस सम फॉल्टी रिजल्ट्स जैसे एग्जांपल लो वेइंग मशीन्स आप हर डॉक्टर के पास जाते हो तो आपके आपका वेट हर डॉक्टर के पास देर इज अ डेविएशन इन अ वेट इन सम ग्राम्स राइट और समटाइम्स इट इज इन के जी समटाइम्स माई वेट शो शोन एज कैन बी समथिंग लाइक सिक्सटी पॉइंट फाइव समटाइम्स इट इज फिफ्टी इट मे बी सिक्सटी or it is 59.8 something like this because these weighing machines are not calibrated properly so there can be the instrument fault also or there can be a transmission error which we know uh, which may happens very easily data ek jagah se dusre jagah transfer karte samay there can be the error which can be caused uh, due to the transmission media correct so these are few things which cause the dirt in a data we called it as a dirt in a data or we called it as a noise in a data correct so jaise ki abhi hum example lete hain incomplete ka abhi incomplete ka example kya hai ki uh, lacking attribute values or lacking certain attributes of the interest or the containing only aggregate data jaise ki occupation hai occupation ke jagah pe kuch bhi nahi likha hai so it is my missing data right अब नॉइसी डेटा का एग्जाम्पल लो नॉइस का मीनिंग क्या है कि कुछ नॉइस एरर और आउटलेयर कंसिडर करता है जैसे कि द एग्जाम्पल इज अ सैलरी वाइल टाइपिंग आई एंटर्ड इंस्टेड ऑफ टेन थाउजेंड आई एंटर्ड माइनस टेन थाउजेंड और आई एंटर्ड जस्ट माइनस टेन सो दिस इज माई एरर इन द सैलरी डेटा करेक्ट एंड विच इज माई नॉइस इवन द डेटा कैन बी इनकन्सिस्टेंस इनकन्सिस्टेंट और इट कैन बी द डिस्क्रिप्टज इन द कोड और नेम जैसे एग्जाम्पल है सपोज आपका डेट ऑफ बर्थ आपने 2010 का दिया हुआ है और एज आपने 42 दिखाया है सो दिस इज मिस मैचिंग राइट सो वी कैन से दैट इट इज अ इनकन्सिस्टेंट डेटा और जैसे कि लास्ट ईयर आई वाज गिविंग द रेटिंग एज वन टू थ्री एंड दिस ईयर आई एम गिविंग द रेटिंग एज ए बी सी डी करेक्ट अगेन इट इज इनकन्सिस्टेंट डेटा आई हैव टू कम डाउन टू द वन सिंगल वन सिंगल denotion correct or even i have the discrepancies between duplicate records also sometimes some records are getting duplicated and uh, which also gives a gives a wrong analysis of a data correct and even there are few things like which um, people intentionally give a wrong data or people intentionally try to add a dirt in a data for example aapne suppose आपको डेट ऑफ बर्थ नहीं देना है या जैसे कि ड्यूरिंग योर ग्रैंड फादर और ग्रैंड मदर्स डेज ड्यूरिंग दोज डेज पीपल नेवर यूज टू नोट डाउन द डेट ऑफ बर्थ 
of the calendar at the school mein admission kaise hota tha everybody's date of birth is a 1st june right everybody's date of birth is a 1st june so this type of a data is a, sometimes there is a intentional error or intentional dirt in a data correct even we have the incomplete data that is a missing data which is not always available so for example uh, some of the data is not entered by the data entry operator or some of the data is not recorded always by a person even uh, because of this um, even missing data can be uh, due to equipment malfunction or inconsistent with other recorded data and thus deleted or data not entered due to misunderstanding or certain data may not be considered important at the time of the entry and not register history or the changes of the data so there these are the things which leads to the missing data now this missing data we cannot infer correct so thing is we have to handle this missing data we need to handle the missing data correct how can we handle the missing data so the first part which we can do in handling the missing data is ignore the tuple so what does it mean uh, this is usually done when the class label is missing uh, this method is not very efficient effective unless the tuple contains the similar attributes with the missing values so bahut sare missing value hai to hi humko ignore karna hai otherwise uh, this may lead that pura important data hi mera main ignore karti ja rahi right uh so um uh, what happens uh, generally in this case uh, suppose missing values hai to humko uh, manually fill karne abhi manually missing values fill karne hain hame suppose then it will be very tedious task and it is infeasible task also correct and uh, uh or suppose automatically fill karne missing values to hum kya kar sakte hai either we can have a global constant which can be used uh like uh, uh like suppose aapke paas pura missing data hai date of birth ka so let it be now global constant i can enter as a 1st june and then year because a year to mere paas hamesha hai hi so i can uh, have that global constant or or uh, what can i do ki pura data mere paas hai wo pure data ka main mean lungi aur jo missing values hai those will be filled with the mean this we have seen in the ड्यूरिंग अवर लेबोरेटरी सेशन ऑल्सो कि पूरे कॉलम का हमें मीन देना है सपोज सैलरी है वन ऑफ द कॉलम इज अ सैलरी एंड आई हैव अ डेट ऑफ से थाउजेंड एम्प्लॉयज आउट ऑफ विच टू थ्री एम्प्लॉयज सैलरी इज मिसिंग और सारा सैलरी हम किसका से वर्कर क्लास का आई एम कलेक्टिंग अ डेटा आई वॉन्ट टू एनालाइज लाइक वॉट इज द परफॉर्मेंस ऑफ माई वर्कर क्लास ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ द सैलरी तो मैं हर दिन का उनका परफॉर्मेंस नोट डाउन कर रही हूँ whether they are lethargic or they are good in work so so how much salary how much impact of salary matters on their performance aise mujhe analysis karna hai aur ye analysis karte samay i have entered the salary data also of the worker but the problem is somewhere i miss the salary data for two or three workers out of 1000 workers to main kya karungi ab sare worker hai to everybody is working on the same scale there may be only the difference uh, of the salary because of their experience correct or maybe because of just a one or two difference in the grades of their education right so i can take the average of all data i can take a mean of it or average of it and i can replace the missing value with the mean of the data so that can be done right so this can this 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 task can be done automatically correct or i can have the uh, samples of uh, i can take a sample of a data and take a mean of it right so most probable value also like inference based such as the bayesian formula or a decision tree isse bhi hum automatically missing data <coughs> fill kar sakte hain correct for example uh, like uh, like using other customers attribute in your data set or uh, i can take the reference from the other data sets like this so these are the way we can fill the missing data correct now let us look at the noisy data <coughs> first of all let us know what is this noise is so noise is a random error or the variance in the 
measured variable. Uh, so uh, this noise uh, is like a out layer, a, a data which is very extreme that can also be called as a noise. So we have a method to uh, even clean this noisy data. So incorrect attributes values may lead uh, due to the faulty data collection as we have seen data entry problems, data transmission problems, technology limitations and inconsistent in a naming convention. Right. So other problems uh, which require data cleaning like uh, duplicate records, incomplete data and inconsistent data. Correct. And even we need uh, a noise to be clean in from the data. Right. So how can we handle this noisy data problem? So noise can be handled using binning method. So let me tell you what is this binning method. Now binning method uh, is a method which is also called as a smoothing method, which which used to smooth a data. So in this case, a data is sorted by value by consulting its neighborhood and that is the values around it. And the sorted values are distributed into a number of buckets uh, or a uh, beans. And because the binning method con consults the neighborhood values, uh, so use kya kenge local smoothing. Correct? We have a uh, different methods for the smoothing. We have the smoothing by bean method, uh, by uh, smoothing by bean means, smoothing by bean medians, and smoothing by bean boundary. So let us see this smoothing method in detail one by one. Okay. So let me share a Excel sheet uh, where we can look at the smoothing method. So what we are currently looking, we are currently looking at noise removal, correct? A noise removal can be done with the smoothing, smoothing methods or we, this is also called as a binning method, correct? Now uh, there are three methods to smooth. The first method uh, for smoothing is um, by means or it can be by boundaries also. Now let us take an example. See we have a data. Uh, say the data can be uh, something like this. Let me give a data. Uh, data of a price. Say price ka kuch data hai hamare paas. So data is like a 15, I have 8, I have 4, uh, I can have a 25, 24, then there is a 21, 20. these are all prices of some material, okay? And I have a 28 and 34, correct? So these are the data which is available with me. Now I need to smooth the data. Correct. I want to remove the noise from the data. Correct. So what I can do, I can, I can sort first. I have to sort this data. So the sorted data for the price in dollars. So sort kar diya data. The given data form ne sort kar diya. Now let us to uh, take one example. So before going for the smoothing by beans means bean means sorry or smoothing by bean boundaries, we have to partition the data into the beans, correct? Partition into beans. So, can say bean say I will be having the bean 1, I will have bean 2 and then I will have bean 3, correct? Now, what bean 1, bean 2, bean 3 mein kya aane wala hai? So, uh, abhi data kitna hai apne paas? You count it. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So, I have 9 atoms with me. So I need to create beans out of it. So I'm creating three beans with the equal frequency. So ye nine ko kaise divide karenge? Three, three, three may divide karenge. So this first three data I will put into bean one. Second three eight atoms I will put into bean three. And third three atoms I will put into bean three. Correct. So I will be putting like four, eight and 15. Then I have a 21, 21 and 24. And then I have 25. 28 and 34. So these are three beans which I have created. And now my task is smooth the data. My task is to smooth the data. Correct? Why do am I doing this smoothing? I feel that whatever variation available in a data is a variation due to noise. 
noise of the instrument noise can be of a data entry operator or noise can be introduced due to the transmission error right that the way i said that the noise in uh, which is available in the weighing machines at every doctor's place har doctor apna weight alag alag hi dikhata hai har doctor ka jahan pe jo weighing machine hai wo weight alag hi dikhata hai correct so what is my conclusion see there is a noise in the instrument and i need to clean the noise correct i want to remove the noise or i want i want to remove this dirt so what i can do first i will do smoothing by beam means so look at this smoothing by beam means ab mujhe batao ye pehle wale beam ka mean kya hai can anybody calculate this mean of this data for me so what i will do while calculating the mean of the data i will uh, take the entries like 4 plus 8 plus 15 and which is divided by 3 correct because that is my um three i have three atoms so a mean of this data is 9 similarly for a mean of a similarly when i say for bin 2 i have a mean as 22 you all can calculate simultaneously and for bean 3 i have a mean as 29 correct and how do i say smoothing by beans method so i will again have three beans and these three beans will have a mean as a smooth data so maine kya bola hai ki ye category ke log hai right inka jab inka jab ye weight galat calculate hua hai aur galat represent hua hai which is actually a weight as 999 so i will be replacing a complete data with mean of that particular bean correct even like this also i am replacing it with the mean of that particular bean so this is how i do a smoothing by bean means understood all of you so this is the way of smoothing or even i can say a binning method a binning with a mean similarly i have one more method which is smoothing by bean boundaries I have two methods: smoothing by beans, mean, and smoothing by bean boundary. Now look at the data. So what I will do? अभी मुझे data को देखना है, right? So data I want to replace. अभी इसमें कितना तीन तीन का ही data है. So what I will do? I will be replacing a middle value का data because boundaries को वैसे ही रखने वाले हम लोग. Or the the one I which we feel as a noisy data. which will be replaced with the boundaries correct ab i will write this first data as it is and i feel this 8 is a noise so 8 jab noise hai to i will try to replace it with the boundaries now nearest boundary i will try to replace it with to abhi 8 ko near kon hai 4 hai ya 15 near hai to near kaise dhundna hai so i will do say 8 minus 4 iska answer to 4 aata hai and when i go for 15 minus 8 i get answer as a 7 so the nearest neighbor or the nearest boundary for the 8 is 4 so i will be replacing 8 with the 4 and i will keep 15 as it is because i will be only replacing the middle values i, I as i consider them as a noise so i can i have to replace them correct similarly when i go for this uh, middle values the same as a uh, nearest boundary so i keep it as it is in this bean second bean ka case when i go for the third bin i will write it as 25 then i go for then i go for um, this uh, 28 of uh, 28 ko near kon hai 25 hai so i will be writing 25 and then i have 34 over here correct so this is how i have uh, done स्मूदिंग बाय बीन बाउंड्री आई होप दिस स्मूदिंग बाय बीन बीन बाउंड्री इज ऑल्सो क्लियर विथ ऑल ऑफ यू सो लेट मी हैव अ क्विक रिव्यू ऑफ वॉट वी हैव कंडक्टेड टीम नाउ so here i i was looking for the what is noise and then uh, how this noise is introduced 
so noise is introduced i have told you multiple times that it can be due to other problem by entering the data due to the fault in the instrument uh, due to uh, negligence of the uh, or uh, or the maybe due to intentionally that people don't want to enter the data so noise can be there because of many many reasons there is a method to remove the noise that method is called as a smoothing by winning method or a smoothing uh, or, or a smooth just a smoothing method so for that i have a data the first task is i am supposed to sort the data and then i will partition a data into equal beans equal frequency beans correct so i have created bin 1 2 and 3 and then i i perform first method that is a smoothing by beans method in this method i take a mean of each bean and then every value in the bean is replaced with the mean in the second method that smoothing by bean boundaries i i try to replace the middle value uh, with a with a boundary which is nearest to it and then this is how the smoothing is done by the smoothing by bean boundaries method as well correct so uh, this uh, this is clear now so let's go back to our ppt okay so this is binning method and binning by mean binning by median also we can do and then by boundary so these are three methods to do the binning then we have a regression method so let's look what is this regression is all about so data smoothing can also be done by regression now what we do in a regression uh, in a regression we try to find the best line to fit two attributes or the variables so that attribute can be used to predict the other correct so regression line hota hai where we try to fit the data correct then we have a outlier analysis so outlier may be detected by clustering for example uh, say i have a uh, say i want to try i am trying to map a data on a uh, on a given and for a given analysis so say this is see if i go for the regression method what i will try to do see if i uh, no let's see uh, what we can do with the see this is my um, this is my data and if i try to plot the data on this what i will try to do see i will have different data outside of this data which can be called as a outlier data the data which is inside this particular map is my data which is cohesive or which is similar to each other and the data which is outside this boundary is my is my outlier data correct so this is how i can go for the finding the outliers and then cleaning those outlier data and which is also called as a clustering method so clustering mein kya karte hai ki ek cluster mein hum data find out karte hai uh, this can be done uh, manually also or with the human inspections also uh, so even uh, data uh, smoothing can be done with the data discretization uh, or a data reductions as well so this is how uh, i try to smooth the data i try to remove the noise from a data Right. Now this data cleaning is looked as a process. So, its meaning is that missing values, a noise, a inconsistent, inconsistent, uh, inconsistency. Is because of this we have the inaccurate data, right? So, until now we have seen how to clean this inaccurate data or the missing values or how to smooth this, correct? But data can cleaning is a big job. What does it mean? It is a big process where we first try to find out the discrepancies in a data right and once we find out uh, this discrepancy in a data uh, we then try to migrate or uh, integrate a data so this data cleaning is is seen as a process correct right? so uh, as we always say data cleaning is a process why because we find out the discrepancy in a data and when then we try to uh, try to remove those discrepancies from the data so this was all about the